Paul Offutt, Wikipedia article audio. Paul A. Offutt is an American pediatrician specializing in infectious diseases, vaccines, immunology, and virology. He is the CO inventor of a rotavirus vaccine. Offutt is the Maurice R. Hillman Professor of Vaccinology, Professor of Pediatrics at the Perlman School of Medicine at the University of Pennsylvania, Chief of the Division of Infectious Diseases, and the Director of the Vaccine Education Center at the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia. He has been a member of the Centers for Disease Control Advisory Committee on Immunization Practices. Offutt is a board member of Every Child by Two and a founding board member of the Autism Science Foundation. Life Rotavirus Vaccine Smallpox Vaccine Action Against Dietary Supplements and Alternative Medicine Reception Publications Books Medical articles Other Offutt has published more than 130 papers in medical and scientific journals in the areas of rotavirus-specific immune responses and vaccine safety, and is the author or co-author of books on vaccines, vaccination, and antibiotics. He is one of the most public faces of the scientific consensus that vaccines have no association with autism. As a result, he has attracted controversy, and both a substantial volume of hate mail and occasional death threats, as well as support for his position. Offutt grew up in Baltimore, the son of a shirt maker. He went to his father's sales meetings and reacted negatively to the tall tales told by salespeople, instead preferring the clean and straightforward practice of science. When he was five years old, he was sent to a polio ward to recover from clubfoot surgery, this experience caused him to see children as vulnerable and helpless, and motivated him through the 25 years of the development of the rotavirus vaccine. Offutt decided to become a doctor, the first in his family. Offutt earned his bachelor's degree from Tufts University and his MD from the University of Maryland, Baltimore. One of his mentors at the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia was Maurice Hillman, who developed several of the major vaccines in use today. By 2008 Offutt had become a leading advocate of childhood immunizations. He was opposed by vaccine critics, many of whom believe vaccines cause autism, a belief that has been rejected by major medical journals and professional societies. He received a death threat and received protection by an armed guard during meetings at the CDC. His 2008 book Autism's False Prophets catalyzed a backlash against the anti-vaccine movement in the U.S. He donated the royalties from the book to the Center for Autism Research at Children's Hospital of Philadelphia. Offutt serves on the board of the American Council on Science and Health. In 2015, Dr. Offutt appeared in a vaccine awareness video created by Robert Till in which he advocated for teenage vaccinations. Offutt worked for 25 years on the development of a safe and effective vaccine against rotavirus, which is a cause of diarrhea, and which kills almost 600,000 children a year worldwide, about half as many as malaria kills, most deaths are outside the West. His interest in the disease stemmed from the death of a nine-month-old infant from rotavirus-caused dehydration while under his care as a pediatric resident in 1979. Along with his colleagues Fred Clark and Stanley Plotkin, Offutt invented Rotatech, a pentavalent rotavirus vaccine manufactured by Merck and CO. Rotatech is one of two vaccines currently used against rotavirus. In February 2006, Rotatech was approved for inclusion in the recommended U.S. vaccination schedule, 
following its approval by the Food and Drug Administration. Pre-marketing studies found that Rotatec was effective and safe, with an incidence of adverse events comparable to placebo. Rotatec has been credited with saving hundreds of lives a day. Offit received an unspecified sum of money for his interest in Rotatec. Offit was elected a Fellow of the Committee for Skeptical Inquiry, in 2015. In 2002, during a period of fears about bioterrorism, Offit was the only member of the CDC's advisory panel to vote against a program to give smallpox vaccine to tens of thousands of Americans. He later argued on 60 Minutes 2 and the News Hour with Jim Lehrer that the risk of harm for people getting the vaccine outweighed the risk of getting smallpox in the U.S. at the time. In December 2013, Sarah Arush and Offutt declared the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia has a moratorium on the use of dietary supplements without certain manufacturers' guarantee for quality. Offit defines alternative medicine as quackery when it involves unappreciated harm and replacement of conventional therapies that work, with alternative therapies that don't. His books and articles warn against expense and risk to health for recipients of alternative therapies. In 2013 Offit wrote the book Do You Believe in Magic? The Sense and Nonsense of Alternative Medicine Offit states that the purpose of the book is to take a critical look at the field of alternative medicine, to separate fact from myth, and that there's only medicine that works and medicine that doesn't. One of Offit's concerns is the scare tactics he says proponents of alternative medicine will often use. In a 2010 podcast with the point of inquiry, Offit stated it is very difficult to unscare people when you scare them. Offit has said that the Dietary Supplement Health and Education Act of 1994 should be overturned to provide proper oversight and action against supplement providers. Offit is a recipient of numerous awards, including the J. Edmund Bradley Prize for Excellence in Pediatrics from the University of Maryland Medical School the Young Investigator Award in Vaccine Development from the Infectious Diseases Society of America, the 2013 Maxwell Finland Award for Scientific Achievement and a Research Career Development Award from the National Institutes of Health. In 2011 Offit was honored by the Biotechnology Industry Organization with the 2011 Biotech Humanitarian Award. Offit donated the award's $10,000 prize to the Vaccine Education Center at the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia. Also in 2011, Offit was elected to the Institute of Medicine at the group's annual meeting. In 2013 Offit was presented with the Robert B. Balls Prize in Critical Thinking by the Committee for Skeptical Inquiry for Do You Believe in Magic? The Sense and Nonsense of Alternative Medicine Offit is a literal lifesaver, educates the public about the dangers of alternative medicine, may save many, many more. Michael Spector wrote that Offit has become a figure of hatred to the many vaccine denialists and conspiracy theorists. Spector reported that Offit had often been threatened with violence by anti-vaccine advocates necessitating precautions such as screening Offit's packages for mail bombs and providing guards when Offit attends Federal Health Advisory Committee meetings. At a 2008 vaccine activism rally in Washington, D.C., environmental lawyer Robert F. Kennedy, Jr. criticized Offit's ties to drug companies, calling him a poster child for the term biostitute. Also in 2008, Cheryl Atkison published an article in CBS News questioning Offit's independence, citing his financial ties to vaccine manufacturers. Offit said he is upfront about the money and that it doesn't affect his decisions. Kurt Linderman Sr., 
the editor of the Autism File blog, wrote online that it would be nice if Offit was dead. Such vilification has provoked statements in Offit's defense. Peter Otez, a professor and vaccine researcher at George Washington University, has been quoted in a Newsweek article. Offit has written or co written several books on vaccines, vaccination, and the public, and antibiotics, as well as dozens of scholarly articles on the topic. Isabel Rappin, a neurology professor at the Albert Einstein College of Medicine, wrote in Neurology Today about autism's false prophets. In the Cutter Incident, Offit describes fallout relating to an early polio virus vaccine tragedy that had the effect of deterring production of already licensed vaccines and discouraging the development of new ones. Offit advocates for the repeal of religious exemptions to vaccine requirements, saying that such exemptions amount to medical neglect. Media related to Paul Offit at Wikimedia Commons. Official website. Paul Offit on IMDb, Paul Offit, MD, Wista Authors Series on YouTube, July 7, 2013, Paul Offit presents Do You Believe in Magic to the Wista Institute, No Bones About It. Seth Mnookin and Paul A. Offit on YouTube, March 9, 2011, Guest Host, George Walreich, MD. Director and CEO of the College of Physicians of Philadelphia, interviews Paul Offit, MD, and Seth Mnookin, The Vaccine War, PBS Frontline Documentary, April 27, 2010. Extensive interviews with Dr. Offit, The Dangers of the Anti-Vaccine Movement, Meredith Melnick, Time Magazine February 24, 2011. Interview with Offit